If you have hair in your image, remember to continue to think about it in terms of light areas versus dark areas. Um, that's all that hair really is. Um, I'm going to zoom in on an area of the hair over here and just start showing you um, how to outline the hair. You can put this in a faster speed if you want because I'm just going to kind of click through it um, and begin to outline some dark areas and light areas. So here is a really dark area. I'm going to hide my fill so I just have an outline. And I'm going around this dark area until it kind of intercepts with this light strand of hair. I'm going to continue to click around that. Um, and then looking over here, there's a lighter section of hair, so I can outline that light area. And just kind of closing it off um, in different places. So this top area here, I'll close off. Um, let me undo that, though. There was a little bit of overlap here. So Command-Z to go back. Um, and then I'm just going to hit enter to finish off that line and start back up over here instead. And then I can close that shape up. Um, looking over here, there's a dark section of the hair, so I'm going to create a little triangle out of that. And then this is a pretty big section of lighter values. I'm going to outline this, and I'm actually just going to outline this little bit of a curl that's visible. Um, a lot of that is highlight, and then I'm going to go back in and find some darker areas. So there's all this um, light pieces of the hair that I will be outlining. Comes down around here. And I'm going to close off my shape um, back on this line and hit enter. And then looking at this, there is within that curl those darker areas. So I'm going to go back and outline some of those darker areas. And um, I would continue and outline the rest of this. So I'm going to get this front strand of the hair here outlined. So again, I'm just continuously clicking. Um, this strand might intersect a little bit with this curl as well. Um, so a lot of that is light. So I'm going to continue um, and bring that around, holding down Shift when that minus button comes up, and following this highlight or this curl around. And then at this point, I would start going back in with your triangles and some of the shapes once you have um, most of the highlights and shadows outlined. Comes up around the eye, and then I will close off that shape. And then I'm going to start to come in, holding down shift, um, with some different triangles here, trying to get... Um, some of the direction of the hair incorporated. So instead of going sideways here, since the hair is going um, straight up and down, I'm going to try and get a lot of those uh, triangles to be a little bit more straight up and down or longer, if that makes sense. And holding down shift where the uh, minus button comes up, holding down shift. Again, trying to make those triangles a lot longer. and hitting enter. So then just continuing to fill that in. Oops, I'm gonna undo that line. Close that shape. Then maybe I'll go back into the shadow area. Um, create those triangles in there. Again, following those directional lines. All right, so I would just continue, um, go through that, and then if there's sections that you see a lot of value change, so maybe this area where it's a lot darker at the top and lighter at the bottom, that's when you might want to break that up into a few more triangles. So at the very end, last minute, I would go back through, double check if there's anywhere that you might need to um, make it a little bit smaller with more triangles.